We laugh. <laughs> they can hear me. They can't hear me, but they can hear you. Well, okay. Hello, everybody. Yes, sir. They can hear. I can hear it. I love that. It sounds so good when you do that. Play. <laughs> yes, sir. How's it going? What is up, everybody? Oh, nothing much. Yeah, it's just a special day. It is a special day here in Vintage Breaks, and we're going to celebrate. Because it's opening day, man. You only get one of these a year. Day, this and is that... this should be this should be a national holiday, man. I it am is. so happy about this. You know, got my. Got my Cubs hat on. They're up two to one over the Texas Rangers. I'm I'm happy. Well, I get Cubs updates now because we share an MLB TV account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had all the updates for, for, for I was getting all the updates for the for the Braves. I'm like, wait a minute, what the hell? So <laughs> I, I thought it was just doing it on my device. I didn't realize it was doing it on yours, but you know, no, it makes sense. It's account wide. It's fine. Nope. I don't care. Yep. That way I get Dansby Swanson updates. I can remember that. Yep. My favorite cup yep. of all time is Dansby Swanson. <laughs> yep. Yep. Did I give you a copy of my uh, my uh, of my photo of Ronald Ronald seventieth? No. Oh yeah, 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 you showed it to me. Yep. Yeah, I've seen it. Let me uh, let me gift that to you because so that way you can uh, use that as you see fit. Because I know that's one of your favorite moments too. So. Yep. So Gottschall. Hello, Gottschall. I'm spinning John Party's Heartbreak Medication today. Oh, very nice. John Party is radio country, but it's good radio country. I'm sending it to your Gmail. That's fine. Let's check out Tribute by the Pack. There's a briefcase on it. Beautiful. Love that. that you know, it's got Clayton Kershaw on it, but that's okay. Yeah. Yep. Feels like I'm still coming in a little hot on that microphone. No, you're fine. Yeah, but that's okay. That means uh, Philadelphia and uh, Atlanta are playing Friday, Saturday, Sunday in a real series the way they should. I'm all for it. Let me play with buttons here, making sure everything sounds good here. Everybody, this is the uh, opening day version of Vintage Break South. God, that's fun to say. I'm Chris. That's Gilmore. He's also Chris, but we call him Gilmore. Very happy to be here. Very happy to have you guys here. Thanks for hanging out with us. Got all kinds of stuff going on. Tribute is open. It's the greatest and best song in the world. <laughs> Tribute. This album does have some lazy songwriting on it, I'll tell you. Most eighties country did. Well this is this is new. John or, Party's new. Is that oh is that? Yeah, John Party. This is a 2020, 2023 album. Oh well then there's definitely lazy lazy writing on it. Yeah, he's got like this uh 
the, like a lot of the songs are based on whiskey, which is like we're way overdone, way played out, way played out. I actually hate them when they do that. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, we understand that whiskey is part of American culture, especially if you're in the South. But yeah. damn, son. Yeah. There's only so many different ways you can you can like you can do that, and like they're out of them. They have not come with with a new one, that's for certain. Yeah. I mean, what what was the last good one? Uh, Jack Daniels kicked my ass last night by uh by Eric Church. I don't know. Well, that's not even a hit. You know, that, that, that just, oh, it, no, it yeah, but it's still good. Yeah. I mean, it was it was it was very apropos for the album. Let me get my notes up here so I can. Uh, I, I, I would go like Paisley and Krause. Whiskey Lullaby. Oh, okay. It wasn't bad. Just played out. Just played out. Let's go, Mets. Okay, Hoysock, I hear you. Ooh, that's, that's, uh, that's, yeah. that's awful. I, I mean, it's his team, not mine. Yeah, well, I mean, still, yeah, yuck. I said that in <laughs> solidarity with Joe Hoysock. So if you want basketball, I got you. If you want football, I got you. If you want baseball, I got you. I got mega boxes. If you want hockey, uh, I have vintage hockey. I don't have modern hockey. You got that 58 stuff. Uh, 58 80, 81. Uh, I have a pack of 81. Uh, so let's see. I'm going to do a mega box. We're going to do a mega box. We're going to turn this five spot random on. Doing a five spot random, huh? Yeah, there's five packs in there. All right, let's, uh, let's blow that shit out of the water. Got outside today. Got uh, started cleaning out the smoker today. Did getting you ready go touch to, uh... some grass? I did, man. Wow. I did. I'm. Ex- I, I was happy, man. I, I didn't. I didn't work uh, out of the house today. So I mean, I mean so uh, I, I'm sorry. I was at the. I was at. Shit, I didn't leave the house today, so I did work from the house and cleaned out the smoker and getting it ready for a. Uh, I might uh, do some. Uh, some tri tip this weekend just to kind of get it warmed up and uh I'm I'm excited man. Nice. Got mania coming up next weekend. Having a having a having a day or so furta, you know? Furta. Couldn't be ex- more excited. When is Mania? Sixth and seventh. Saturday nice. or Sunday. All right. And I've already got it blocked off my schedule. Yeah, this coming Saturday, I've got uh, Jason Isbell at the Tabernacle. Yes, you do. That will be a good one. I'm happy for you on that one. I think you're good. That's the, that's the, you're doing it Saturday, so he's doing it Saturday and Sunday, too, so. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yep. As a matter of fact, tomorrow night, you're going to see me on setlist.fm, refreshing to see what he played. Nice. Because uh, cause if, if you see, like, an old one on there, then it means he's going to do that old one all three nights. Uh, nor- normal concert runs are out playing their new, their new album. And that's true for Isbel as well, but not on these three, th- three night runs. These three night yeah. runs, he drags stuff out. Yep. He did it at the Ryman before this. Ryman, she's he's doing it, doing, it, he, doing it here at the Tabernacle, and then he's doing Red Rocks. One of those things is not like the other, though. The two legendary venues in the Tabernacle. <laughs> well, the Tabernacle actually used to be a Mormon Tabernacle. Yeah. Uh, and before that, uh, and um, during the uh, the '96 Olympics and all, it was the House of Blues. Yeah. So uh, there's a there's a uh, there's a there is some history there. It's just not. A, I mean, it's not the Ryman. 
Yeah. I still think the Tabernacle is still one of my favorite halls to listen to music, though. Yep. Michael Beck, happy opening day to you. I had a PSA popper today. You want to see oh. it? Of course I want to see it. Oh, is that the one you showed me earlier? Uh, Maybe, but don't ruin it. Oh, uh, because that, that one was super nice, dude. A little one card order. Yeah. Saw that. Little Wim, little Wimby dime, about a thousand dollars there. Yep. I bought it for three fifty, three hundred and fifty. Paid sixty two to grade it, and I'm gonna sell it for a thousand. That, my friend, is how you profit. Yes, sir. It's a profit game. Profit game. <laughs> Steve Martin and the jerk. <laughs> All I need is this lamp. <laughs> it's a pretty Wimby. I don't need anyone. It's a pretty little, pretty looking Wimby. Yep. All right, let me mute myself for a second and be right back. Yep. Uh, you can say that all you want. We'll make it true. And like, if he is overhyped, it's not his fault. See, happy opening day. Just sending some text out real quick. One. Three, four, five. There we go. We're gonna have a good day today. You know how I know, how I know we're gonna have a good day, good day today because I sent out text messages and two people answering are Kevin W and Jason Nella. I am very good. I am very good. I'll be even better when it's my Braves opening day time. They got uh, Philly faked out by the weather. They got Philly Phillied. Philly be like, it's going to rain. And then it didn't rain.
Well, there go all the prison megas. Ha ha! Let's do it. You ready, Francis? Heck yeah. I have not seen the legend of Boggy Creek nor the legend of Bagger Vance. Dang. Mm -hmm. Walsh Slayers is serious about something. Yep, he won them prison megas. He, he's he's Wimby chasing big time. I don't blame him because he's having good luck with it. He's a once in a generation player. Kevin W. Kevin W. And Wimby. Won. Kevin W. is a once in a generation VB player. Yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah. There, I mean, there's only one Walsh logger, that's for certain. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like like like, like Mike Beck with Q1. KW is Q2. <laughs> yep. I'm glad to see Mike back here again. You know, I, oh, he, I didn't see him for a couple He's never left weeks. chat. Yeah. Andrew Blevins was part of back, Legend of Bagger Vance. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I even came up with some trivia tonight. I have like two or three different uh, things. Andrew Blevins was 2020 Q1. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. OG, he was he was OG banger with us. Yeah, he's been around a while. I don't know why he still like puts up with with with, with, with you know my terrible you? jokes and. I don't know why I put up with your terrible jokes. It's my fantastic customer service. That's what it is. Is that what that is? Mm hmm. Here you go, K Dubs. Hey, Josh. K Dubs. Let's get something amazing out of these packs. Yeah, man. Let's let's get a let's get a let's get a color Wimby. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. It's gonna be color Wimby. So you're calling a uh, pink I'm ice calling, Wimby. I'm calling a pink ice Wimby. Pink is, ice that, is that the only color that's in here? I thought green was in here too. I mean, there's a chance at some color, at some numbered color, but it's um, primarily what we're looking like. It's the silvers and the pink ice. Let, let's get some colored Wimby in here. That's that's my call. Would be, silver would be great, Kobe. Yep. Wallbanger, you're getting a you're getting a uh, you're getting a colored Wimby in this. Imani Bates, Davion Mitchell, Yao Ming, yeah. Yao, White Noise, yeah. <laughs> Hello, Nakila. How are you, Oscar Thompson, Anthony Edwards? <laughs> Austin Rivers, Flip, Lonnie Walker, Brandon Miller, nice. Hmm. Amen. I'm very, hmm? very upset that uh, the uh, the the Cubs game is blacked out, so I can't watch it at the moment. Not on MLB TV. Nope, it's on ESPN. Oh. VPN that stuff. Uh, put, put your IP in Bangladesh. Oh, that's right. I forgot that's I had VPN black. on this. Caldwell Pope. What was the one that we used? We Jalen used, uh, Clark, oh, rookie silver. silver. They used Fiverr. Look how quickly the they find freelancers. I don't know. So simple. I don't. It's a Fiverr commercial. Why are they working in the dark. Bad for some. Grow your business. For Fiverr. Mm -hmm. Jalen Wilson, Tyler Harrow, Kobe Blumkin in a go. pink crack Blum. dice. Buffkin, 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 Buffkin. Yeah. Had a good night a couple nights ago, too. That's a Blumpkin. <laughs> if it were Halloween, he'd be a pumpkin. All right, let's close that box of tribute. Francis, can you link that tribute box? Uh, yes, sir. Let me uh, let me get in there. Give me putting, just a couple minutes, there, gentlemen. Yeah, I'm putting two briefcases on that tribute box. Double. Uh, the box or the pack? Uh, by the pack. By the pack, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more likely to close. Colby Jones, unless somebody just. Cowboys a box. Jaden Ivy. I'd love to see somebody cowboy a box. 
I mean, I'd rather see people get in by the pack, but if somebody cowboys a box, hey. I'm not, I'm not going to tell good. them no. I'm going to say, I'm hey. Gonna, I'm going to tell them no. You go, King. I only have one. Well, so. you'll make one person happy. Yep. Clemson Jerry beat Swalker. Arizona uh, to get into the Elite Eight. That was nice. Josh Giddy, Ray Allen, Silver. Eric Gordon, what I like about these packs is every pack has a silver, so you get five silvers for about you get five shot at a win five shots at a Wimby silver, which is a yep. two thousand five hundred dollar card and a ten per mega box. Kobe Blumpkin. <laughs> what was the uh, the VPN that we used? Oh, I don't know. Seth Lundy, I've used several different ones. No so one used the most popular. No, what was the one that you got from uh your former employer? Oh, uh, Nord. It wasn't that one. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Keontae George, Imani Bates, Scoot Henderson, Deep Space, Jarris Walker, Brandon Miller. We have a Deep Space Silver Hollow. Uh, that guy, Alexander Vizikov, whatever his name is. He's a, he's a Visigoth. He's a Visigoth. Watch out. He's invading. Tristan Vuvasek. Flip. Car was cut a little weird. The key of the little line with you. Tequila Little Time. And it's just the play on words in this song. And it's bad, but somehow he makes it work. Like, see, that's an example of an alcohol title that works. Because it's a little clever. It's not entirely clever. It's stupid. But it works. Cleaned my office today, Francis. I cleaned my office. Well, good for you. <laughs> I don't think I've done that in years. I've always just waited till I couldn't stand it no more and called my housekeeper. Lenny Miller, Hawkins, Anthony Davis, Mohammed. Uh, how do you say this guy's last name? Guy, the Hawks guy. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'm. I'm... Trey Jones. Uh, gay. I think it's Muhammad Gay. Gay. Oscar Thompson. Grady Dick. My favorite name. Derek Whitehead. Global Reach. Josh Giddy. Cameron Johnson. Colin Castleton. Gay. Game. They should have a jersey swap with him and Grady Dick. Andre Jackson, Steve Costco, Amen, Trey Amen Young, Johnson. yeah, right. and Silver. This is like the third rookie Silver we've hit. Alexander Venezikov, Sir okay. Jabiri Rice. This this has been very quiet on the uh, San Antonio Spurs front there. Uh, here's one, a Wimbayama Emergent. We'll take okay. that. Cam starting Whitmore, to warm up a bit. Rookie Silver. Mike Miles. I'm going to be so excited Saturday if I see them load up a gong. But, if they put the gong on the stage, that means they're playing Miles. Miles has this loud gong ring in it. And they only set that up when they're playing Miles, which is a wonderful song. Derek Lively, Jalen Williams. Here's a numbered, but it's Obi Toppin in a uh, ice teal. Hunter okay. Tyson, Peyton Watson. So if we were to hit a uh, numbered Wimby, it would be an it would be a ice teal. Don Hagenson, how's it going? Don, you see that Royce Lewis shot today? 
You know, I'm in on Royce Lewis. Even though I've already sold of the bulk, I still have the remainder. Seth Lundy. Jamie Jaquez. He's good. Jared Vanderbilt. Kobe Blumkin. <laughs> Julian Phillips. Bucking, LeBron bucking, bucking, bucking. Green. I don't know how to say it correctly anymore. <laughs> um, I've, said it, I've said it so much that that's just his name now. Jarris Walker, Vuvuzela. Spoken that into existence. Huh? Yep. Here's like the fourth rookie silver, Amiri Bailey. If you want rookie silvers, Mega Boxes is the place to get them. Emergent Kobe Brown, OG, Shaq, Leaky Black. Really? Leaky yep. Black. Great name, dude. Yeah, I wish I wish they'd have put his other brother in there, Coffee. Uh, no, his, no, his first name is Black. His last name's Coffee. Wrong guy. Oh, Flint Tropics. <laughs> yeah. You know, Leaky Black did something uh, for the awesome. uh, for the first time last week that he hadn't been able to do all year. What's that? Hit a free throw. Yeah. I saw Moses Moody try to shoot a free throw and it just looked so bad. He's got a really weird motion. So. And he's bricking free throws. I'm sorry. I just don't think a modern, uh, modern day uh, basketball player with the way the NBA is set, set up now should be an auto brick at the free throw line. No, you shouldn't. Like I understood it was Shaq, but that was a different scenario. Shaq was a different beast altogether. This pack is different too. Jaden Ivey, Austin Reeves, Jordan Hawkins, Ben Shepard, Zion Dominance, John Collins, Steph Curry in a silver, Obi Toppin. Come on, we need a Wimby. Bill Derek Lively, Taylor Hendricks. Come on, Wimby. Come on, Wimby. Come on, Wimby. Ah, beat your monkey ass, Wimby. Come on. Tim Hardaway. We have an Anthony Black, uh, pink, ice. Jason Tatum, Deep Space, Deep Space Green, Amen Thompson. Some good cards, just like we want Wimby to be the good card. Yep. Quickly, Chris Murray, Prosper, Evan Mobley, Jalen Wilson, Noel mm -hmm. Castleton. Ah, oh, come on. Last pack. Come on. Right, well. Yes, I did. Leonard Miller. Come on. Fred Van Yeet. Nope. Didn't hit it. DeJounte Murray. Didn't hit it. Very weak box on the Wimby front. Very weak group of boxes mm -hmm. on the Wimby front. Hmm. Hmm. Not very happy with that. That's not that is not what I was feeling at all. Yeah. Right? I mean maybe I should we are maybe I shouldn't call that again. I don't, I, don't, I don't want people to yeah. oh, I, I wouldn't hold my mouth right. You ever heard that that saying uh, you gotta hold your mouth just right. Put it work. Yep. All right, tribute is what we're trying to get closed. Get on in. Josh, maybe your Wimby will come back so I can sell it for you. Josh has asked me to sell his Wimby silver. Well, that's cool. Let's make some money off of it, man. Yeah, let's make Josh money. Did now. you see the Wimby gold that Dom pulled? Yep, Monopoly gold. 
Oh, very nice. I'll tell you, this is a clean. I, I did a little bit of cleaning in my office as well. Still got shit everywhere, but I, I've got a desk space now. I have space here. I'm not cluttered. Except like where like all my stuff is I'm working on right now. It feels pretty good. Yeah. So you cleaned your office today too? A little bit. I mean, I've still got crap everywhere. I mean, but I'm I'm at the point where I can literally start picking things up and moving things out if I need to. So all right, here we go. K walls. We're gonna run some blackjack for you. Yep. Ace Jack right off the bat. Black Jack right off the yep. rip. He wins. Yep. He's getting 50 bucks. And maybe more. I don't know if these eggs are actually done, by the way, so we'll see. Cool. <laughs> we'll see. I'm rolling the dice here. Get this card. It's off here. Um, where are the the customer? I mean, the customer. Oh, customer account sub. They changed it. Yeah, it looks a little different. Um, that's not what I'm looking for. Huh. Where, where do where do I need to go to? Uh, Break I credit. Going to, yeah. Yeah, you're looking smile.io. It looked. Okay. It didn't look right. Nope. They changed the uh, the, the wording. They, they, they used to have the wording there. Yep. Jeez. All right. I got to redo some eggs. Okay. See if, see if I can get two that have prizes still left in them. There we go. Two five hundred dollar wheel spins. And a fifty five tops baseball. So K Dub gets a fifty eight and a fifty five. And two wheel spins. Five. Mm -hmm. All right. Fifty-eight. That break. And, and nineteen fifty-five. Yep. Um. Which? Oh, that's Tops All American. Wrong one. Never mind. And that's for K Walls, correct? Yep. K Walls used to see a brand new order in your account here. I tried not to like John Party, but then he put out some George Strait covers that I loved. So I was like, all right, you got me. Hey. Yeah, yeah. You should. You should Sometimes definitely that's all it takes. You should definitely go see Zach Top. Zach Top's really good. Zach Top's been my favorite new country music find this year. He has been really good. Last year, my my favorite country find was Randall King. This year, it's Zach Top. Mine was John Moreland. Oh. And we're going we're gonna go check him out on the tenth. Yeah, he's been around a long time though. Well, I didn't know who he was. I never heard of him. And then I heard that song and I'm just like, Oh, I I need my heart back. <laughs> he ripped that thing out. Yeah, I knew who he was. I just didn't pay much of attention yeah. until until some of his recent efforts. Yep. Well, let me yeah. rephrase. Let me rephrase. Till my exposure to some of his stuff, right? It, it wasn't a him problem. He's always been excellent. Yeah, yeah. it was. It was a, a you problem. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's just that I didn't hear it until now. Sure. Yeah, well, that's the way it always is. Yep. Um. Yeah, that's what we paid. We paid twenty five for John Moreland. Yeah, and that and that place of where he's playing, uh, the Barrel House. Uh, yeah. In uh, in Chattanooga is nice. Yeah, John Paul White's there next week. Nice. Half of the Civil Wars. Yep. I don't know, man. It's just not the same without Joy. Well, I mean, 
until well, they they got a they got some things to work out there. They don't. They never will. I don't know. He's a musician and she's a uh, soccer mom. That's the problem. <laughs> they have no common ground at all. About right. Yep. My favorite song on Heartbreak Medication is playing right now. It's called Love Her Like She's Leaving. It's a great song. Who's Bender Rules? Polly Bender. Oh, okay. I don't think I met you. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm a douche. Uh, uh, I'm I, I, for you. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm allergic to glue. Hmm. Hi, I'm Chris. I eat ass. <laughs> Pitching change. Kirby Gates replaces Josh Sabors. That's going to get clipped. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Eggs are restocked. Yeah. Hey, don't forget about our referral program, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we want to get some more of you people in here. And more people just like you in here. So uh, refer somebody. Oh, there's some 90, uh, 89 score. Oh, refer somebody. And when they spend $50, you're going to get 25 of it. So, you know, we want to say thank you. And we want to reward you for being a customer with us and being a, a friend of ours. But also, you know, we want to make sure that, that you, uh, <laughs> you bring other new people in and they enjoy it and you get paid for it as well. So okay, you bring somebody in. Yeah. They since they spend fifty, you're gonna get twenty five. So yeah. join us. K Dub says he's got his Cubs hat on too. Yes, sir. They're my dark horse this year, man. Mm. Mm, that's tough. Yeah, it is. But I don't think they would have made the move for council um, if they didn't think they already had the stuff to win. Yeah. But the problem is they they need pitching. That's what I was going to say. Who's who's pitching? Well, Justin Seal was pitching until the fifth, and he hurt his leg. See, I don't know about that because they got counsel. Like Bellinger is a piece that they needed. They're not competitive without Bellinger. Oh yeah. Well, so yeah. But like, and they got counsel before Bellinger. I don't understand. David Ross probably pissed somebody off because that's what he does. David Ross will straight up tell you to your face that, that what he thinks of you. Yeah. He doesn't tell who I, you I, are. Yeah, I am not happy. For the record, I'm not happy with 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 the uh, with getting Craig Council. I mean, yeah. If you're going to get David Ross, you better have somebody like Craig Council lined up. If you're going to get rid of David Ross, you better have like yeah, yeah. like exactly exactly yeah. Uh, Fifty two spot from uh, because we added them from the weekend, Nick. Uh, let me see if I can get your order number. Yeah, I heard that it was his hamstring as well, and it, the way he the way he kind of reacted when he uh, when he heard it, you could tell it was hamstring. Did you pick up a buy two get one free from today? Because the North will have to enter that. I can't enter them. I see you bought today. Yeah, it looks like they run by. Yeah, it looks like they run some kind, of, kind of promo. Nick went ham on fifty two today. I hear you, Nick. Yeah. But if you buy one from me, I'll do it. Yeah, he he, he just landed on his on his foot wrong, and just you just saw the you just saw his leg just kind of tweak. Uh, what else? You know, <laughs> what up, Chef? Chef, you're on early, man. Yeah, I mean, he must have like. He must have, like, not gone into work today. He got his sous chef on the case. Yep. From last no, from Sunday? last Sunday. Let me check that out, Nick, because I believe I ordered that. Oh, check out. Says you forgot to add two.
What's going so, on, Fire 12? That's Neller. That means he just did something. Neller. Uh, Nick Mattiachi, check. Oh, no, that would have been too far back. So here is one. March 10. March 17. <laughs> he is right. Nick Mattiachi, I will get you a 52. I see it. I'll take I'll take care of that. Yep. You need a fifty two for Mariachi? Yep. Uh we just had an order in. Oh uh, Neller do Neller do what Neller be doing? He did he did what most people can't. All right, Neller, I can open one of these. I can't open two of these, but I can open one and I will get you two briefcases for that. Uh I have uh, right, crap, they really didn't send me anything. The only thing I got left is they did not send me enough. Bowman Chrome, you see, it's ten o'clock, and we're we're like out of product, Francis. I knew this was gonna happen. I bitched at him for an hour when I saw this package. So I owe Mattiachi one fifty two. Is that correct? Yep. Mattiachi, Mattiachi, Mattiachi. Nineteen fifty two near set break. Mark is paid. Uh. This will create an order. Mark this order is paid if you received a CAD outside of Shopify. Yep, great order. Yeah, I forgot he's Canadian. Sorry. You should have that in your account right now, there, sir. Here we go, Jason. Thought I was on a diet. What are you cooking for Easter? I'm I'm on a forced diet. I'm on a diet because I can only fit so much stuff down my throat. He's got one in uh Let's make lap it hot band around his belly. No, no, I don't have a lap band. Oh, that's uh, right. You did the you did the you did the yeah, did the yeah. real surgery. Yeah, no, 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 no legitimate service surgeons even do the lap band anymore. You have to go to Turkey to get that procedure. Uh, I, I, I did the uh, the amputation yep. called a vertical sleeve gastroectomy. They take a football sized stomach and they turn it into a banana size. Mike Trout on the back, he had a day today. Yep, he had the first homer of the year. Bryce Harper. Uh, ass. Here's an ass rookie. There you go. Eloy Jimenez, jersey card, number to 50. Mike Trout, base card. Spencer Hello, Kusaba. Writer. <laughs> the star of Seinfeld, Keith Hernandez autograph. <laughs> Let's suppose that's not the autograph we want. No, it is not. Nice Buster sure. Posey, though. That's pretty. Yep. Lou Bob and Eloy. It's been a White Sox box. Mel Otts. That was a nice one on the back there, if I read that correct. Uh, bonus autograph. I uh, don't really. Ryan Mountcastle. That Mel Ott looks so cool. I love the, the old photography. That just looks so cool. Yeah. Ernie Deep Banks. Boy got a signed Randy Johnson from Tribute last night. Ernie Banks. Oh, that's so pretty. Jonathan India, number to 75, autograph. Nice. Even though he's red. Ichiro. Like number one son. Mark McGuire. Ooh. Nice. Shohei oh, Tani triple jersey number to 75. Good little oh. card there. Josh Gibson. Yep. And that uh that that jersey piece was obviously not taken from the the sleeve because mm -hmm. there was no cards in it. Yogi. 
Rookie autograph here. Nice. Rookie autograph number 199 of Colton Kowser. There you go. And a Ty Cobb, number to 75. Colton Kowser, of course, fine player. Big yeah. looking prospect. Seeing if I miss any numbered <laughs> stuff. Michael Beck truly believes in Francisco Alvarez. I mean, you need him. You need him. You need him to be that. Let's just put it that way. Yep. Yes, he did say Yogi. Thank you for the boo-boo reference. How you been, Chef Ted? Name Cooper. Is it Cooper Allen? Uh, I am not familiar with him. Gilmore is more towards the countryside than I am. I'm more on the the rock and classic rock side. I know who Cooper Allen is. I really don't like. He he hasn't put anything out yet that I've identified with. Josh Pugh may know him. Of course, Josh Pugh, there's always Josh Pugh may know him personally. <laughs> he gets around that scene. <laughs> Josh Pugh is well known in that scene. Josh Pugh, like, yeah, that's my boy. Let me, let me, let me, let me holler at him. And he says, yeah, come say hi. <laughs> well, I hope you get that sorted out soon there, Chef Ted. I know it's a, uh, I know it's a little, yeah. Hard to deal with at times. Yeah. This package they sent me was a fail. Like, I've been bitching about it all day, and I'm not going to stop bitching about it. Like, it's just, it's, just a, it's just a fail. They should have sent you stuff to sell. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, uh, would you be happy if I did this as a sales number? They're like, well, no, that's not what we're looking for. I said, well, look at the package and add it up. <laughs> yeah, that's not cool. And you know, and looking at your analytics, it uh, has two active carts and one checking out. Yep, I have flawless. Flawless is good to get on. I will do a briefcase for every spot in flawless that is not a typo. Old move, Cotton. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. Screw it. That's my mentality. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. Screw it. You see my stupid bonus on Flawless, a briefcase for every spot, and a boot in every ass. So, like, regardless of how this goes, you'll get your briefcase. Even if it doesn't close, you'll still get your briefcase. Briefcase is if you buy multiple. John's like, when are you going to quit bitching about this? I said, no, because if I do, you won't learn anything. <laughs> was, was that John Five that that that, that decided not to sh send you stuff? Uh, it's more, it's, it's more Sam. But <laughs> Sam, dude, do better, man. <laughs> Let's give him a lecture. We I, are spending late. I need money. you guys to do better.
Let's see this. Mark, Mark. Okay, so for those of you who are watching, it's ten o two p.m. here, March twenty eighth. Guys, Vintage Breaks North, Home Office. I need you guys to do better. Hmm. Our customers deserve it. I deserve it. Gilmore deserves it. You deserve it. Do better. Mark that. <laughs> <laughs> this may be the last time I ever show up on the show. So if, if that's the case, I wish everybody will. Um, but. Yeah. Yeah. You get you, you pink slip the more. All right. Can't fire me. I quit. Uh, I'm working something out with Jason now to get that flawless close. So here we go. That's a, that's a, that's, that's a lot of uh, flawless to close there, sir. Yep. We're doing it. Um, let's see. You did something. Yeah. Uh, Neller got one of the spots. Yeah. I'm working it out. I, well, I'm, I'm seeing that that order just came in. So that's why I'm saying that. Yes. Driving to Jersey now camping outside. Haven't heard anything from you guys about the prison pack I want on PS5 giveaway night. Uh, prison pack. I don't know that specific bonus, but I'm sure they got it. On, they've got it. Uh, either opened it on screen and sent it to you, uh, Johnny. I'm not sure. Uh, if you want to, uh, shipping. Have did you? Let's see. Unfortunately, that is a North thing, and we don't have any control over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, he may not know. Um, so that's fine. So, uh, I'm 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 remote. I'm in Atlanta. Uh, the bulk of the staff is in New Jersey, and they have all that access. But if you hit Kristen up at shipping at vintagebreaks dot com, mm -hmm. she'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, give you a tracking number or to go. Oops, we screwed that up and make it make it right. But um, uh, everybody. Gets and before he lost 170 pounds, Gilmore was the bulk of the staff. Ah, uh, yeah. Video towards you earlier. <laughs> you emailed on the 13th and no response. Okay. Then I will email for you. We'll get it fixed for you, man. It, it might have been they didn't have your address. Oh, Jason Neller just did a thing. I see, I see some numbers there, so that tells me something. Yep, yep. Jason Neller just uh, closed that box flawless. Let's do it. That's a, that's a big swing and a home run there, sir. Neller, 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 Neller. And remember, the K is silent. Thank you very much, Donald. H happy Easter and safe safe Easter to everybody who uh, who participates in that. All right, so oh, let's see who else is in this. 2023, because there's one spot that's not him that we're going to have to randomize. So on Dallas. Oh, how I wish Dallas was in Tennessee. I don't see Dallas. Is that Facebook user? Yeah, probably. Okay. Dallas packed your suitcase and drove off in the brand new car. 
I bought her. Jason Neller. Kyle Greenwell. So we got uh, 5619, 5618, Jason Neller. We got 5431, Kyle Greenwell. Told you I'd close this, Kyle. Made me leave and leave the keys in. I wish she'd make it look a little harder. Yes, sir. What's up, Cal G? Yeah, he has one of these. Took her out of Texas when she was just a girl. Old Tennessee and me couldn't get Texas out of her. Oh, where is this box of flawless? Um, it's over there. Where they at though? Where no, the other, no, the other way, the other way, the other way, the other, it's right there. See it? No, I don't either. I'm just messing with you. I don't care. I'm like, wait, wait, how, how can you possibly see that? <laughs> All I see is your big fat head. Don't lie, don't lie. You were looking at my junk. The only reason that you're saying it is because you can look at your junk now. <laughs> <laughs> It's beautiful. Top of the night, the Cubs and Rangers are tied two apiece. That's a pretty box of flawless, just saying there. Let's get beautiful stuff. Only beautiful things. Good good vibes only. Good vibes only. Good good vibes only. That's right, yeah. Ooh. I'm gonna randomize this box twice. Well, probably need to change the uh, the view of the camera too. Uh, I'm gonna be using a different camera to do the breaking. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be using every camera doing the breaking. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, it's my overhead. I know. You know how I can tell it's pointing down. Good deduction there, Watson. <laughs> One. Thank you, Holmes. Card nines, Kyle Greenwell. Took her out to Texas. She, I don't know why I got Alan Jackson's Dallas. Well, I wish, I wish you'd like quit ruining his stuff, man. Oh, I can't sing Alan Jackson. His range, his, his, his. his it's it's like it's in an odd spot. Like it's the odd version of baritone. It's in your appoggiatura. Is that what that's called? It's a little, it's a little low for me. The the, the the break in your voice where it's it's yeah. not it doesn't fit your voice right. Yeah. Yeah. Briefcase. Void stickers. Any more? Any more? Oh, I think that's it. All right, let's go. Can I sell these now? They're now voided. <laughs> you just get to watch what we pull out of them. I'm going to start from here because I don't know who this is. But this is Nick Lofton. 
Hollow, number 10. I don't have any clue who this is, and I don't really care because I saw what card three is. It's card one. We got another diamond here. Jordan Lawler. I know who that is. That's a big time prospect. Jordan that's, Lawler. That's a good prospect. That's a good on. one. Let's get a good patch on this. I didn't see the patch. Oh, the patch is decent. Here we go. Number 10 of 25. Flawless rookie patch auto. Ellie De La Cruz. Six foot ten and 120 pounds. <laughs> Ellie. De La Cruz going to Jason that's Neller. Pretty card. That's right underneath the C. That's a nice card there, dude. It is. It is. Let's get to the uh, box. There you go, Jason. You got your really good, you got your keeper, Ellie. You got your got yourself a good one. And he's a doggone good player, too. Card four. We got a little bit of the Rockies logo here. Abel Amador hey. with the Rockies Rocky logo at number um eight out of nine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Good. You know Pretty. how hard vintage patches are to come by? Very. Don Sutton, number one out of three with a piece of uh, numbering on there. Oh, wow. You that looks it? like the old style jersey, too. Yeah, it is. The flannel jersey. It's a little later than that. It's just nylon. Look how sewed on there, though. That looks so good. Yeah. Three, four, five. Card six. Nice. The Phenomenon. Christian Vaccaro. That's a Number good kid, dude. Four out of 15. That's a good pull. Grade all mine. Or we'll grade everything worthy. Three, four, five, six. Card seven. Javier Lopez. Number one of 25. The 20-year-old uh, favorite from the, from the Brave. Card eight. Lee Arthur Smith, 17 of 25. Hey. Uh, card nine. Hey, look at that uniform. What a beautiful uniform that is. Going to Kyle Greenwell. This is Jacob Berry. Good hitting prospect. Miami Marlins. Guy hits a ton. We'll get that Don't one grade out hobby. You, Kyle. No, no, no. We're not grading hobby. David Wright, flawless number three of ten. Good looking patch auto there. Colton Kowser. This is going to be another one we're great. This is the USA that, Ruby number to 20. That's the second uh, Kowser that we've seen tonight. Yeah, embedded Ruby, Colton Kowser. And we have number five out of ten, flawless, flawless achievements, gold. Edgar Martinez, number five out of ten. So there we go. So what we're grading? We're gonna the Vaquero. Yeah, not the right, not the Edgar. We're gonna send the Ellie, the Lawler, and the, the at least four. I don't know who Lofton is, so we're not gonna. We're not going to worry with that. Uh, he is the son of country singer John Barry. No. Oh, no. He just got a letter. One he is I know he's not. Oh, we he's, are he's spending suspicious. Layton's money. Yes, you are. As, you know, habitually. Habitually facetious. Yeah. How's your neck, by the way? It hurts. Any uh, news on it? No, just gonna hurt a bit till it heals. They give you time frame on that? Mm, six weeks. Six weeks. Did they not find a neck brace big enough for that fat head? Wouldn't help. I guess it's in a in a weird spot then. 
So it's a bit like a broken rib. Can't do nothing about it. Not really. Except tape it up and let people know that you have a broken rib. Yeah. That's why I'd always refuse abdominal, abdominal tape. And yep. when I had something wrong with an extremity, I would tape everything. I'd tape everything. Yep. Leave them guessing. Not mix these up. Jacob Berry's going to someone else. A lot of stuff oh, to like in these. I thought Master Bunny was on the Reds now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like you need to breathe or anything. Yeah, really. Yeah, it hurts to breathe, hurts to talk, hurts to walk, hurts to stand up, hurts to lay down. <laughs> hurts to hurt. Hurts to laugh, hurts to cry, hurts to fart. I mean, hurts, hurts if hurt. you eat too much. Hurts to hurt and sucks to suck. Yep. Sucks to hurt, hurt to suck. <laughs> All right, we're going to get to resolving bonuses here in a minute for you, Neller. You got quite a bit coming. Giggity. Do you have a few? He's going to get two. Um, Blackjacks, because he did two different checkouts. That's correct. Tom, he ain't no friend of mine. Well, I am ready for whatever you decide to give him. Yep. You got to get a hand free first. Well, I mean, if you... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I am not whacking off right now at this moment. Give me a minute. <laughs> Get an email from late. Hey man, no more whacking off jokes. <laughs> you know, Please don't thing. take it on camera. That's one thing that's never happened to my knowledge before. Like, like pretty much everything that can happen in breaking has happened, but I've never like even heard of a guy whacking off on camera. Like, like he thinks the camera's off, finishes the show, and go, "I'm gonna rub one out real quick," and oh shit, my camera's on. I've never even heard of that happening. I've had times when uh, I thought my camera's off, I thought I was done streaming, I started talking shit. I had that happen before. And I was talking shit about my boss. <laughs> and you had to go in there and take it off and delete it and restart the stream. I deleted it. I, deleted it. I don't think he's ever seen it. Nope. He would have had to seen it like within the first five minutes of it being there because it was yeah. gone. I have picked my nose on camera before. I've done that. And everybody's done that. Who cares? Yeah, big deal. Yeah. Everybody, everybody digs for gold. What good is mining for nose gold if I can't share it with the townspeople? All right, Bowman Chrome U. I got briefcases on them. You can hit fire in Bowman Chrome U. That's definitely true. Prince, can you make sure that's on the site while I get his bonuses set up? I can do it. So the 15 at 150 is closed. Uh, Jason Miller closed it. Uh, do we do personal boxes? Or, uh, yeah, put, put the plot random. Up. 11 personals left. All right, here we go with the 150. You gonna bring you gonna briefcase a personal? Yeah. 
Buy a personal uh, Bowman Chrome, you get a briefcase. Buy two, get two. Buy eleven, get eleven. And we'll be we'll be breaking to the break of dawn. We got it going on. Hey, ever since he said pick his, pick his nose, my nose is itched. Dude, it happens, man. I mean, damn it, get that get that itch up there. I mean, it, I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. All right, here we go. Look at Batman, Jason Neller. I don't see any cheater noses over there, and nope. Uh, Brooks and Dunn has a song called That Man, and it goes, I am that man. Every time I hear it, I think he's saying, I am Batman. Batman yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, come on, man. Low-hanging fruit there, dude. It is, but, like, it's, it's, I don't think it. K Dubs is gonna come off, gonna pop off the win here. Uh, he swept it. What's he getting? Uh, K Dubs gets a fifty-eight hockey, a fifty-six foot baseball, and a fifty-eight football. Fifty-eight, fifty-six, fifty-eight. Got it. Yep. Uh, eggs are going to Jason Caneller. Uh, I'll do that order if you're gonna do the eggs. And then 58 hockey and 58 baseball. Uh, 58 hockey, 56 baseball, 58 football. 58 football. Yep. I'm about to have an extravaganza. Egg Shavaganza. And this is going to Jason K. Neller. Jason Neller, yeah. And for the record, K is silent. He gets a dozen of these. <laughs> Good lord. All right, let me get let me get my pen. Yeah, I gotta I gotta He's... make additional ones because I don't, I don't I just don't have them. Yep. Mr. Neller, you should see that. Order in your dashboard now. And he, Jason Neller got bored and bought a uh, Chroman personal box. There we go. We'll do that one too. Clean me out, Damn, Jason. Son. Dude, may, buy everything we got so we can go to bed early. <laughs> we, pro we, pro we actually probably will. Jason Neller came to play today. Oh, we're just going to keep these eggs rolling. <laughs> yeah. Let's do the breaking first. The breaking is more fun. Well, okay, he's going to get another egg, and he's going to get another uh, blackjack. Yep. He gets three blackjacks and 13 eggs. Yep. We go five six two zero. Oh. Some big honking gulps there, Mister. Yes, sir. Trying to get some. 
It's hard for me to swallow and all that right now because uh, so much freaking pollen in my face right now. So I feel like I'm <laughs> struggling with it. It's hard for me to swallow. That's what she said. Apparently, you and I don't know the same people. LE to 10. Yes, sir. Well, you you got an LE to... Um, what the, what's that LE number to? Here it is. Oh, he, he means that he 25. wants that to PSA 10. Oh, he wants it to 10? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Keon Kelly, University of Alabama, Alton McCaskill, Dylan Gabriel, Dylan Hayden, Devin Leary, good looking quarterback out of Kentucky. Mm -hmm. This is the guy that everybody is underrating. This is Carson Beck in a flash. He's good. Carson Steele, Caleb Johnson, Duke quarterback Riley Leonard. Kyle McCord in a pink mini diamond, number to 150, Ohio State quarterback Kyle McCord. He had some drama. Shaz Preston, who you're going to see in a big-time way this next season. Yeah, he's going to be their premier wide receiver. He's very good, man. Uh, Bama's been putting on a show recruiting, man. The uh, yeah, the board's been doing uh, good with the recruiting thing, so I'm, I'm I'm impressed. I just want to see how he what he does with it, you know. Yeah, well, I have a lot of confidence in what he can do once it once he gets the players. My question was, could he recruit? Uh, he did a wonderful job at um, Washington at making players, but, but I'd always been like, how's he going to get them? Because he right. didn't he didn't recruit well at, at Washington because it's Washington. So he's a bit of an unproven recruiter. But I have nothing to complain about. Ohio State's gonna crush. Ohio State's gonna they're gonna Ohio State. Ohio State is gonna Ohio State. Is uh Kyle McCord still there? What was the drama around Kyle McCord? I think he got benched. Did he transfer portal? Settling in at Syracuse. Syracuse. Oh, yeah. Big downgrade. Big oof. Big oof. According to quarterback Kyle McCord, his decision to transfer from Ohio State to Syracuse was strictly business. Quote, at the end of the day, the top level of college football and uh, and then especially onto the pros, it's a business, comma. Uh, so why would you go from the one of the top five to one of the top 60? What if you can't play for one of the top fives? I mean, then, you, then you ain't going to play for the top 32 either. Uh, he, he, he'll, he'll start at Syracuse. Yeah, well, but, yeah, like, but he won't start in the NFL. He won't play in the NFL. But he'll get drafted. Like Bo Nix is, is Bo Nix was trash in the SEC. Yep. He transfers, he, plays mm -hmm. well, and it, 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 the the move made him a lot of money. Well, sure it did. So I I I, I see what he's doing. He's going to easier competition so he can look better than he is. Now of eventually, like, like the NFL is going to catch up to that. They're not. Yeah. You know, They'll give him one year or two years. Then he's like, you know what? You ain't what we think we are, what you think you are. So, well, I mean, they don't they don't have, even have to give him that. They'll know before they yep. draft him. Yep, he'll be a mid round draft at best. But like, he wasn't going to play at Ohio State, so he would have been undrafted. So, if he can go to Syracuse and play, that's better. Being at Syracuse and starting is better than being the backup. At Ohio State. <sighs> yeah. I get that. Yeah, he he was put out. I, I do remember. I do remember him struggling, getting benched, and now he's fleeing to get easier competition. I get that. All right, here we go. 
Egg time. You ready, Francis? Uh, yes. 69 tops of baseball. Nice. Fifty seven tops baseball. Nice. Sixty three tops baseball. Okay. Ten more. Sixty seven tops baseball. Twenty five dollars. Oh, he got the other box too. Twenty five dollars. No more. Fifty six tops baseball. I'm actually out of eggs, so we're gonna throw you a baseline egg for the ones we're out of. Sixty nine tops baseball. $25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four more. $25. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 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 Throw another fifty dollars on the kitty for the two eggs, as he would have got another one from the purchase. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's all of them. Yep. All right. All right. Take me a few minutes to get this, but you're getting one hundred and twenty-five hundred and two hundred and twenty-five dollars in break credit, which is awesome. I'm going to open that last box of omen you. Uh, what did he order? Another one? Yeah, he got another. One. Then he gets one more. No, I've already accounted for it. I'm out of eggs, so he got twenty five dollars for the for the last so, so, two. So he should have fourteen eggs then. Twenty five dollars for the last two, so fifty dollars. Oh, gotcha. That's why I said fifty at the end. Okay, I got, I got you. I got you. That, okay, All right, here we go. Come on, come on, quarterback. Come, come on, Clayton. Come on, Shadur Sanders. We did get Shadur Sanders uh, in the last one. Yeah, we need an auto. Will Shepard. Jurion Dickey, Kool Aid McKinstry, Winston Wright, Isaiah Williams in a flash, Keon Coleman, one of my favorite players in all of college football, Roy Dell Williams, Tyler Good name. Van Dyke, uh, a burner better than you think, Jarquez Hunter. And Kendall Milton, University of Georgia running back. Kendall Milton refractor autograph. These cards sell right. really well at like giant sports cards because everything is so south based. Mm -hmm. All right, let me let me put this in here. 69. Uh. Yes, that guy's name is Kool Aid. It's not his real name. His real name go. is quite ridiculous. <laughs> Which is better than Kool Aid. No, it's Jaquin his real name is Jaqu ja Quincy. G A Quincy. He's called Kool Aid because he was a fat kid and his grandmother used to make fun of him and he called him Kool Aid Man. That's a true story. Yep. Oh, yes, it is. His grandmother was teasing him and teased him and called him called him Kool Aid Man, and it just stuck. All right. Need North Carolina to cover tonight. Uh -huh. Nine, just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. We are spending Layton's money.
All right, Mr. Neller, you'll see that order in your dashboard as well. Thank you very much, sir. You also have a couple extra dollars in your uh, in your coffer. Yep. Oh, crap. I think I forgot to put the customer in here. Mm -hmm. I sure did. Yep, I did. Uh, I fixed that right now. Uh, fulfill. Oh, I shouldn't fulfill that. Uh, no. Yeah, we don't do anything that fulfills. Just go to the right hand okay. side. Okay. Add, add the customer. It looks it looks good to me. Okay, cool. If it looks yeah. good to you, it looks good to me. Okay, cool. Yep, it's fine. Yep, it looks better now. Sir. Okay. What's up, Nick Mattiachi? The Nick Mattiachi band. <laughs> I just wanted to be a rock star with this band, the, the Nick Mattiachi band. No, I missed something here. Let's see. Don't be missing stuff. Let's see. Before I entered that, Kyle. There it is at 58 Tops Hockey. Yeah, I'll take care of that, Kyle. No, I have a list here. So much data entry that goes on through, uh, through, through, through this stuff. Let's see. Yeah. Check my Facebook. Oh, well, the Nick Clark Five. You had a band back in the day. Well, there you go. The Nick Clark Five, not Dick Clark. It was Nick Clark. Nick Nick Clark. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check and see the value on that alley. Damn. Yep, that's yep. a belt. That's a six hundred dollar card. Raw. I'm calling belt because it's also the premier hitting that product. I'm calling belt and they can suck it if they don't like it. <laughs> this kind of sucks because it's it's taking the belt from a Wimby hit. But that's a belt. Later, Brian.
Make sure my lighting is good. Get it good and centered. Um, he had that guy hit. That Ellie. Come on, focus up. iPhone camera is sometimes is very good and sometimes is very bad. Never had a problem with it. The only time I had a problem was when it, when my computer was trying to update it at the same time and it would turn off and turn back on and turn off and turn back on. Yeah. But I figured out the problem with that, so. Yeah, you're going to get some unsolicited dick pics, Ted. This is funny. Uh, Mike Cipriano posted this picture on Facebook earlier. And it's like uh, biscuits <laughs> and gravy. My, my, my comment on it, you see the, see the way that biscuit look. My comment on it is uh, that biscuit up top just doing its best. Anytime I feel inadequate for a task, I'll just think about that biscuit. <laughs> that looks like, um, uh, what's that place called? Maple Street Biscuit Company. It's uh, it's in Morgantown, hmm. West Virginia. The Maple Street biscuits look like that, and I think they have one called the Dirty Bird. It looks like that. I think that Ellie is numbered to twenty-five. Am I looking at it right? Ten, number ten of twenty-five. Yeah, number like. ten of twenty-five. Yep. Great card. Go Ellie De La Cruz. Great hit, Jason. There's a breakfast item called Just a Tip. Lord have mercy. Kind of weird taking a belt away from a multi thousand dollar Wimby. <laughs> Almost doesn't seem fair, you know. I mean, but that's that's the way it is. Like it's supposed to, yep. uh, you know, is the belt supposed to change hands a lot? Of Good lord. What are you, good lord? lord. Posted in TCF chat. Oh, that means it's a female. Oh no, it's not. Oh, well, it might be. No, no, no. Mine, mine, both of mine were actually Bailey. Yeah, yeah. You could, God. you could bounce some quarters off that. Holy <laughs> most, I'm sitting here going, I got a penny right here. That's about to be the only thing. <laughs> the times are tough when you can't bounce a quarter. Ain't got a quarter to bounce. Ain't got a quarter to bounce. <laughs> um, oh my. Oh my.
Did you hear the news about McDonald's this week? No, what happened to McDonald's this week? McDonald's has made the announcement that by the end of 2025, every McDonald's will also be serving Krispy Kreme donuts. Oh, oh, that's, oh. You just got a letter. Wonder who it's from. We are spending Layton's money. <laughs> I'm not okay, Francis. <laughs> I can tell you're not okay. <laughs> I'm going to get so fat. It's a slow roll. <laughs> that is a fat man pout if I've ever seen one. That is hilarious. No, dude, they're going to make burgers out of that shit. And it's going to be yes, delicious. They are. It's yes, gonna it take, is. It's going to take ultra convenient, ultra cheap. Do you imagine a McRib on... Imagine McRib on donuts. Uh, no, you wouldn't even need to do that. Their, their burgers suck, okay? But if you put them on a freaking Krispy Kreme donut, all of a sudden they no longer suck. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here, here's what they're going to do. They're going to, like, the best thing McDonald's has is a breakfast. Bacon, yeah, breakfast bacon, bacon, egg, and cheese on a donut. Yeah. It's fucking over. Close them down. They just won the franchise wars. Replace the Egg McMuffin with an Egg McDonut. And enhance your chal- your calm, John Spartan. They just won the franchise wars. It's not Taco Bell that won. It's Bert. It's McDonald's with that move. The Demolition Man? Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm. Every restaurant's Taco Bell. This is the yep. future we're heading towards with mergers like that. Yeah. Basically... They, in essence, just doubled their revenue with one move. Oh, uh, they, they they did something. They they, they made moves. That's, I don't know what what the math that, is. That that is that's that's insane. Nobody can compete with that. Duncan's is ass. Tim Hortons is not going to do it. I, I and I hate Dunkin' Donuts. Donut. Their coffee is awesome. Their donuts are crap. The donuts used to be great. I love, when they made them in I, the house. Uh, yeah, ugh, exactly right. And they, yeah. Uh, once they started making them, uh, once they started freezing them and then sending them from commissary, no, nah, I can't do that. Yeah, they have little Wilford. hubs. <laughs> Wilford Brimley. <laughs> Diabetes. Yeah, my A1C is 5.2 right now, which I'm very freaking happy about. It's going to 7.4 after this happens, I'm telling you. <laughs> as long as you keep it under 12. Uh, no, 12 is like, isn't 12 death? No. Uh, 12, no 12, what, is, 12 is Chad. Uh, isn't like 12 what, what, they're, what they're trying to keep you under under the commercials? I don't know. I don't know. Where's Craig or video? No, mine's five point two, and I was really happy about that. Even my cholesterol levels are down, are, are low right now, and I'm still fat. So, yep. I'm gonna keep that Ellie on the screen showing it off. It's such a great hit. I'm so proud yeah, of that that's, card. That, that, that's a great card. So yeah, you need to be showing that off. So Ellie's gonna have to go on its own sub. It can't go with the rest. It's too expensive. I'm gonna do a declared value of a thousand dollars on it. So you know why? Because something I've learned recently. That that's information the grader does get. Declared value. Oh. What's worth buying? Uh, 84, 89 score and 84 tops football. 89 score makes me happy to open every time, man. I have 
five and four. Those are worth it. I've got a, I've got a, I've got an eighty-nine Thurman Thomas sitting there at the PSA now. Uh, why, Mike? Uh, because it's too expensive. Yep. I'm hoping for a ten on that one. Absolutely. Oh, makes me so happy. Jordan Lawler is on the order. It's this Christian Vaccaro. I love Christian Vaccaro, by the way. He's a good player, man. He's he's a good player. I mean, I don't like the team he's on, but hey, there's an order that popped up. Yeah, there's no way he stays in Nashville. <laughs> hey, Neller, I love you too. Thank you. He's got three of them score football packs. Nice. Yeah, they would upcharge the Ellie, so that's why I'm starting it out at the upcharge. I'm starting it out. I'm not going to let them upcharge it because that way you'll get it back faster. Agreed. Twenty twenty three flawless Colton Kowser Ruby 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 Roo USA This is USA Diamonds I have a couple cards you asked about. Uh, let me know a number. Let me know your number. Baseball. I'm not following. I'm not following. Uh, I'm very dumb. Very dumb. Remember that. He is not picking up what you were putting down. Not pink, it's more yellow. Wait, is there another order? I'm going to, maybe. Chef Ted got in. You know, stopping Chef Ted, you can only hope to contain him. Chef Ted got himself an 84 wax pack. There you go. GSRCC, I don't know. All right, got three eighty nines and one eighty four. Yep, I just had to finish that data entry real quick. I know you did. Who was one of your favorite players that I got in breaks this week? Uh, who was that? Yeah, I was listening to the uh, to the game on GameCast there, Donald. Um, Drew Smiley, I know that they had some problems with him in Atlanta, but, uh, got the bases loaded, had a good, uh, had a good strong pitch for, uh, out number two, but couldn't do it for number for for the third one, man.
All right, let's do it. You're just going to have to see my wires in the back. If I'm out of boxes to cover them up with. Okay, so now we're getting three of them. And Chef Ted getting one of them. Jim Jeff Coat, you remember him? I do remember Jim Jeff Coat. He was a good, uh, mm-hmm. he was a good player. Biscuit, uh, Rob Woodson, Burt Grossman, Sammy Smith, Andre Risen rookie. There you go, bad move. Predator Bruce Smith, Neil Lomax, Charles Haley was good. Dalton Hilliard was really good. Blue Jays. Oh, and tribute, tribute. Uh, one of my favorite players is tribute. I gotta go back and look. Tim Brown, rookie. There we go. There you go. That's a good one. Lagerman, Jerry Rice, not a rookie, obviously. A little good one. That Tim Brown looks real good. Jeff Lagerman. Darren Cherry. He was dude, that dude was a good player. Der, yeah, Darren Cherry, yeah. Yeah. Wayne Damn. Martin. Ah. Jim Kelly, Freddie Jernon, James Lofton, Bruce Smith. Jerry Rice again. Jim Kelly looks good. All right, so let's get to the card savers. God, I remember Shane Collins supposed to be like the next coming of Bruce Smith and that never happened. Ended up being like a wet fart. Yep. Couldn't trust it. <laughs> nope. So you, you got a Tim Brown. You got a Jerry Rice. You got a... Andre Reisner. Uh, Andre Reisner. That Andre Reisner rookie actually is, it looks really good too. So They are fun that cards. That ain't bad. Fun cards. That ain't bad, sir. Taint bad? Taint bad. What are you talking about my guy's taint for? Because... Taint, his taint bad. Okay. His taint bad. Mm. Come on, rise and win. Coming up around the bend. Um, gradable, yeah. I th- from what I can see, yes, it looks like it's gradable. That Tim Brown definitely looks like it. I'm gonna have to look at something on this Tim Brown. Oh, it's up with it. Uh, I gotta see if something's up with it. Where are you looking on the right side? Bottom corner. No, it's not. See if I can show this on camera. Does it have grease in it? No, it's white. So cool. Oh man. Yeah, see the card peeling. A little bit of white. That was a Chris Carter rookie that I missed. Well, the Chris Carter rookie would be the best one here. Hey Spellman. Uh I don't know. Tim Brown was, was a he was a bad dude. Yeah, but I think Chris Carter has him. Yep, that is a Chris Carter rookie. Oh, I didn't think of that. Oh, and this Chris Carter rookie looks good. I'd probably grade the Carter. All right, I have two packs left. I'll see if I can muster some more. We're going to open Ted's pack real quick. 
All right, Ted, here we go. Uh, no, it's a it's it, it's it's a it's a slight ding, Ted. Yeah. All right, so here we go. Uh... Well, Spellman, it wasn't the, it wasn't the Texas Rangers problem. It was a Drew Smiley problem. So he couldn't get the job done. Two new orders. Yep. They be popping. Neller got five of five more of the score football wax pack. Yeah, he closed me out in 89 score. Yep. And go Ted. He got himself an 86. You have Ted with his 84. Ooh. All right, all right, all right. How bad's the gum? How bad's the gum? Ah, uh, the gum got it, but still a really sweet looking Joe Montana. Francis's favorite quarterback of all time. Totally never made him cry. Shut up. <laughs> James Jones, <laughs> Cliff Branch, Eric Dickerson, team leader. Logan Jan Stenerud, Eric Dickerson, rushing leader. This is the Erectile Dysfunction Pack. Robert Brazil, Ozzie Newsom, Ted Brown, Randy McMillan, Jeff Bostick. They call me Jeff Bostick. <laughs> I don't know why that popped in my head. but Mr. Jeff Bostick. <laughs> and he's the whitest guy ever. So he's like, what? Aren't, aren't, you, aren't you clever? I am not clever. I am so, absolutely not. So very not clever. I'm um pretty much pr 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 pretty lame pretty lame pretty lame it's great at chris carter file that ding out with a microfiber cloth <laughs> You do you. I can't do that. <laughs> I believe in integrity, sir. No, I'd, I'd screw it up. I would too, yeah. I'm left-handed and uncoordinated. Yeah. I have no experience doing anything like that. Integrity. I don't really take a principled stand on it at all. Like, uh, I'd say if, you know, you do you, you know. If you can get in a PSA slab and whatever, but I won't do it. And there is a line on that too. Like you should never cut a card. You should never use chemicals on a card. Correct. But like I fully believe you should be able to take some pantyhose and get like wax stains off, you know. We're getting an 84 and the rest of the 89. I mean, 86 and the rest of 89. Is that 86 or 84? Um, uh, Halston has an 80, 84, which you just opened. Yeah, I don't uh, Neller has an 86 and then the rest of the others. Yeah, I don't have any of the 86s. But I have these scores in the north. We'll get that, get that other one open along with your tribute box. He's got five scores yeah no five more i know i have two of them okay got you i'm gonna I'm look in a box behind me and see if i got more but i don't know offhand look at them knuckles them knucks them knucks them knucks all right jason <laughs> Not sure how wearing pantyhose helps with grading cards. <laughs> Crago, right. line of the night. This pack is biscuits. Oh, this pack might. Have, this is black mold. I'm gonna die. Look oh, that's not good. No, this will get refunded. That, yep. Yeah, that's that's no. I wouldn't even play with it. 
or this will get replaced. I, I, I gotta know. Don't do it. It's just best uh, if we don't. Did we kill a Barry Sanders? <laughs> dude, dude, uh, stop it, dude. That that is that's it's not, nasty. It's, it's not white mold. It's mildew. Nasty. It is nasty. I'm gonna wash my hands after this. I, I don't know. I give up. We'll never, we'll never know. Uh, this pack's probably the same way. Oh man. Yep, same way. I felt it when I when I was opening it. <laughs> Need a mesothelioma lawyer. Yeah. I want to grade one of these. There's a berry in here. I'm grading it. <laughs> There's a boss. Brian Bosworth. Oh, come on, really? Keith DeLong. <laughs> That's awful. Tracy Rocker. Keith Rudiger's Rudy Rudiger. Tracy Rock. Didn't Tracy Rocker pass away? I think so. No, he's Paul coach. Mecklenburg. He's still coaching. University of Auburn. Oh. Well, Tracy Rocker. I don't think he's coaches at Auburn anymore, but he's a he's a, a very well renowned college coach right now. He's yeah. a defensive line coach for the Philadelphia Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles, yeah. Like, like he'll probably be a collegiate head coach one day. All right, guys, I'm gonna wash my hands and get something to clean this up. Yeah, dude, that's that's just wrong, dude. Just I had to. Do it. Wonder yeah. who it's from. Yep. We are. So while he's doing that, thank money. you very much for hanging out with us. Do for, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Vintagebreaks.com. We are Vintage Break South, the best of Vintagebreaks.com. I don't care what anybody says. Had some really great stuff tonight. We opened a belting Ellie De La Cruz, 10 of 25 from Wallace, was it? Or uh, Tribute. It was Tribute. Uh, that Tribute was beautiful. Had a nice Ernie Banks in there. It was really pretty um had a ty cobb listed to 75 and all that as well so we had some good stuff in there it is celebratory today because uh we are in day one of the 2024 baseball season it is opening day and i hope everybody is uh having fun with that i think it was jason nuller that pulled the uh the ellie Dela cruz uh him being a reds fan very happy about that for him so good even though i'm a cubs fan and not very happy but that's okay. Um, so yeah, so we got bonuses going out. Uh my recent comment until Okay, I don't think you I think you should give me a briefcase for missing the Chris Carter card and I caught it. That's on him. Bellman, I'm doing okay. I've got uh two listings that I'm putting out on the market in the, uh this next week. I've got to go do a walkthrough tomorrow, and I'm going to do a, I'm sorry, listing presentation tomorrow and a walkthrough on Friday. So um, we're good. Hear that message there? Oh, break credit. Oh.
Sorry, I had to make that uh, take a get a message taken care of there. I mean, I'm picking my nose on camera. That's what it feels like. There we go. Better over there? Yeah, yeah. Put a new album on, Francis. Yep. We're gonna put what it up. Put on. It's on the it's on the feed. You see the cover? Uh oh hey, yeah, okay, I see it. Yeah. You you bought that album? Yeah, about right, yeah. Oh, well, I mean I, I I can see it. It's sitting in front of me, yeah. <laughs> I haven't, no, I I haven't bought it. I five fingered it. Five finger discount? Yeah. I haven't bought a new album recently, uh, and I'm okay with that. I've been I've been paying bills. Yeah, I went and bought. Uh, I got a steal off eBay earlier, but it's like yeah. n- niche stuff. Um, one of them I've been I, I've been I've been eyeing for a, for a long time. Uh, well, two of them. It's two Willie Nelsons I've been looking for, and they were both incredibly cheap, so I got them. Uh, one of them was, uh, was a, uh, Willie Nelson singing Chris Christopherson songs. Okay. Yeah. It's two of my, uh, two of my favorites. Although I don't yep. like listening to Chris Christopherson sing because no one likes Chris Christopherson singing. Chris Christopherson. Um, Chris yeah. The other is, uh, the San Antonio Rose, which is a duet album between Willie Nelson and one of my all time heroes, Ray Price. Um, Alabama, my, my home's in Alabama and, uh, my childhood crush, Kathy Matea. I had a huge crush on Kathy Matea as a kid. I, Don, how about you be a little bit less demanding when you're in these feeds, Okay. Like I, I've been meaning to say this to you for a while. You de- you demand and you demand and you demand, and like it's just not cool with me. Like ch- just chill out. There we go. Like just be cool. That's all it takes. All right, let's see if we can figure out where we are from a bonus standpoint because Jason Neller just like kept uh, going, kept going. We'll make yep. sure we get all the. Br- I gotta get all these briefcases in. You gave briefcases in. You have to do several different versions of. Let's see, one, nah, we'll two, three. Yeah, I'll handle all that in the back end. Got a couple blackjacks in there. Yeah, like four. Yeah, I think I think four is what I'm looking at, but you also have uh eggs, one, two, three, four more eggs, I'm thinking. Five, six, so five, five more eggs. 
Oh, hello. You got a lot. This is my favorite Paramore song, Crush Crush. Jason. Uh, so uh, I've, I've, to be honest with you, I've never heard of Steve Goodman. Uh, uh, and unfortunately, I apologize about that. Who is Steve Goodman? Uh, apparently, he was buddies with John Prine and Chris Christopherson. Not, not familiar. You'll love that song. What song is that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> it's a gay thing. Oh, uh, look up dying subs fan, dying Cubs fan. Okay. Never heard of that. Um, nope. Have a little bit of Jack's links there. All right, let's play some uh, blackjack. I'm reading the lyrics to the song. I don't think I want to hear it. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> At least in 1984, when they won the uh, when they won the Central Division. All right, doing blackjack. All right, let me get, and this is for Kneller. Yep. Let me get my my stuff ready here. Queen six, me showing a uh, six. Yes, you do, Ted. You get one of these as well. Yep. <laughs> you have a blackjack too. All right, we are going to hit. Okay, hit. Oh, 19. Old. Now we want to stand. He It worked. 18 to 19, he wins. That's one win. All right, so 50. Oh, and he's going to get another win because we're going to stand there. Another win. 50. Another one. 18, you should probably stay. Uh, we don't have a Burst. prize structure for doubling down or splitting. He says stay. Oh, got you on that one. Well, that's bound to happen, though. 19, you're probably going to want to stay there, too. Good God, man. <laughs> right? If you could count cards, this would mean where we're like, yep. <laughs> You win. You got one hundred fifty dollars. Ted Olson. Twelve. Ted, what you doing? I'd hit if I were Mister Paulson. Only only four cards can break you right now. So Ted Olson is going to stay at twelve. All right, let's see if you can bust the dealer. Nope. Uh, dealer 20. All right, so I'm going to put 150 on Neller's plate here. Oops. I'm going to put 25 on Ted to welcome him back. I can make that happen. Gotta love Haley Williams' voice, man. He's a good one. Shit. 
Jeff Ted put a little bit in there for you. Hey guys, when did that Tops Big League break? Any idea? Uh, Brandon Anderson said. I, I have no idea. If, even if it did, let me let me see if I can look in our system. So big league uh, um, order date. What, what is this? What is this? What folder is this in? Running pack, you got three packs. Oh, it's in it's in new. It hasn't broke yet, Brandon. There's 16 spots sold, so it's the rest of them we gotta sell. Um, Ed Halson has got a 1984 pack coming. We already broke that. Uh, he's another. got another 1984 pack coming. He just okay. he just bought it. Okay. Uh, we're gonna combine that. We're gonna give Ted Olson an egg. We're gonna give you an egg, Jeff Ted. And he's gonna get another, uh, another uh, blackjack. He's gonna get another blackjack. Yep. I'm gonna hide my wires a little bit. <laughs> Here we go, Ted. In the last two days, what happened in the last two days, Jason? Jason, you got a little a lot of stuff to break. Yeah, I don't have big leagues, so I haven't been pushing it. So if they ended their show without selling it, they'll probably pick it up tomorrow. Big league is not something that sells fast. Groat, Wayne Wilson, Pete Johnson. Here we go, Walter Payton leaders. That's a beautiful card. Kurt Warner? Yes, Chadwick, no. Harold Carmichael. What? Oh, it is Kurt Warner. I was thinking. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's Kurt Warner, the running back, not Kurt Warner, the. <laughs> Daryl Green, rookie. All center to the yeah. right, but a Daryl yeah. Green rookie. It's a Daryl Green rookie. Ken Anderson and Bob Baumhauer's wings. Good wing joint in Birmingham. There was a time in the 90s where chicken wing restaurants were that weren't Hooters were trendy. Yep. Yeah, Daryl Green was probably the fastest man in the NFL for a long time. Yeah. He, he and he and Dion were neck and neck, but I think he was even faster than Dion. Well, by the time Hated. Dion came up, yeah. He was hey. Dion was younger. Dion had youth. Yeah, yeah. man, I, I hated playing against Daryl Green when I was a Cowboys fan. Man, I, I just hated him, but respected his respected the game. He was damn good. Why? I only got one pack of those left. You only have like one pack of everything left. Yeah, uh, that's what happens when you, you know, sell yep. out everything they gave you. Let's do a blackjack for Halson and a and an egg. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, 19, Ted. I recommend you stay. I say you stay where the heck you are immediately, if not sooner. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna stand you there. Yep. Seventeen nineteen, you win. Five thousand for Ted Halson. Yes, sir. And then pop him an egg. If there's anything in this egg. Oh, there is. 
1955 Tops All American for Ted Olson. Fifty five tops all American. Yep. I'm gonna have to go to giant sports cards tomorrow. Yep. I'll have a choice. I'm not gonna get a package and I literally have nothing. I'm gonna come on here and sell air. Set spots. <laughs> Chef Ted, you should see in your uh, dashboard now. We are spending Layton's money. Pretend every card underneath is a 10. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Because yep. if you can, the odds are the dealer will bust. So. Yep. So, Gilmore, question from uh, somebody who is watching and who sent me a message. Uh, trying to buy a card on uh, from a guy on Instagram, but I think he's a scammer. How do I avoid getting scammed? Uh, well, it's really tough. Uh, first off, you have to pay. Take an Amex or Discover or a card with high customer protection. Attach it to your PayPal account. And pay PayPal goods and services. If he says Venmo only and doesn't have a lot of references, doesn't have a lot of reputable people, tell him to kick rocks. I'm typing that in. Attach to so pay uh, pay with a pay with a card with a high customer protection. Uh, and then attach it to PayPal and send as goods and services. If he says Venmo only, tell him to kick rocks. Yeah, Venmo, Zelle, uh, those, those services with no protection, tell him to kick rocks. Uh, an Amex through PayPal is the most secure way to pay, and you will always get protected if you do that. As far as I know, yes. I'll buy a card anywhere if I'm paying with, uh, I'm, if, if they'll let me PayPal goods because I have an Amex on that. <laughs> and you're not getting me because Amex won't let you. That should help. That's good information. Appreciate it. I hope that helps the uh, the anonymous caller. Uh, Ted Halson came in and bought. Oh, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That's the 55 All American. <laughs> yeah. Never mind. Okay. Uh, but Jason but Neller did Neller? take that last pack. He did take that last pack. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. Like I knew something was different. I was just looking at the wrong one. Yep. All right. Let's do it. That means we. That means we're done. Like we don't have anything else. Yeah, we're about to sign off. We're gonna do the briefcases and get rolling. Well, we, let me get the chat bonus ready to go here too. So yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do this pack. Hey, Mike Morgan, how's it going? Make sure you get Mike Morgan on there. You know Mike Morgan. I do know Mike Morgan. What's up, Mike Morgan? Saw him the other day. He came up and went to we went to card show and cards HQ. You can buy from me. I'm I'm, I'm a, I am a singles dealer. Yep. Mike dropped off some cards to be graded. Here we go, Neller, John Jefferson, Steve Kreider, who wins a Chris Collinsworth lookalike co contest. I uh, instantly want to punch him in the face. <laughs> Joe Theismann. <laughs> Theismann is not his name. It's Theismann. Yep. Checklist. Dave Craig. Joe Montana. Francis's favorite quarterback. Dude, don't kick rocks. <laughs> Charlie Joyner. Francis's favorite quarterback, Danny White. He wasn't bad. He was good. He was a good quarterback, yeah. Stanley Morgan, Nolan Cromwell of the English Cromwell dynasty. Yui Von Schumann. Stanley Morgan of, uh, of, of financial planning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was that Einhorn? 
You, Yvonne Ray Shulman. Fin- that Ray Finkel over there? Is Ray Finkel. The if Finkel there is, is a anymore. sequence, I don't know what it is. If there is a sequence, Antonio, I'm not aware of it. No, I wouldn't grade these. Nah. Would not grade those. Save the money. Won't help you. No, that's nothing, nothing really gradable there. I mean, Montana is is a uh, is a uh, basically like a, a a moment card. It's not an actual Montana. Yeah, if that Montana was the base Montana, then maybe. But you need you need a nine on that to to profit. Yeah, you, exactly right. It would have to be high dollar value. Jim Burt equals Jerry Rice? In what world? <laughs> that was maybe what? that was the that's the fake name he used in, in hotels, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so Jim Burt was a, was a defensive dude. We player. are spending Layton's money. A center? Jim Burt might have been a center. Uh If you were famous, Francis, what would be what would be your um oh oh an eighty six top five? Okay. If you were famous, what would be the fake name you'd give at a hotel? I don't know. I've never I've never thought about it, so I guess I should. Uh oh, he's a nose tackle. Okay. I would probably do something funny like Snidely Whiplash or something like that. But everybody would know that one. Yeah. I don't know what mine would be, but I know what my favorite two are. My I'd favorite... go by my, Michael Michael Oxmall. Uh, I would go by Michael Vick because my favorite is Ron Mexico. <laughs> Which is the one Michael Vick used to do when he'd set up drug deals. <laughs> uh second favorite one is Lane Kiffin on Tinder and other apps when he was cheating on his wife. Uh his screen name was Joey Freshwater. <laughs> That's Lane Kiffin's al- alternate alternate name. Well done with the uh one eight hundred collect commercial there. Uh Bob, we had a baby, it's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's send me over the, the chat participation. Uh, you need to be a little bit more uh, responsive there, sir. All right. Sent that to you at eleven thirty-one, sir. I got a lot of uh, DMs. I ain't even check them. All right, here we go. I like the way you do this. You just you just put us put everybody in there. It lets them contribute. Makes them contribute more. Yep. Jiwan Bay. Oh, nice. I have some Jiwan Bays. I'll save them for you. Fifty seven uh, ducks. I think I would go in as Pat McGroin. Pat McGroin, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> uh edge. Yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of people participating in chats tonight, so that was that was that was good. Alabama could break brackets. <laughs> she won that's a lot of ducks. Game. Holy smokes. <laughs> Neller is a Sigmund Freud over there up front. It means he's not going to win. <laughs> yeah, too early of a lead. Guffman in the lead. He's not going to win. Johnny Craig, he ain't going to win either. 
Dallas, whoever Dallas is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think that was the guy you told me to, to, to put in there, so. Yeah, I got a card. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna send your way, Mike. It's a Donald Higginson coming up in the from the from nowhere. <laughs> it's Jason Neller, give him two thousand five hundred points. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Neller, good grief, mean, man. It's, it's, that's the way it works, man. You carry oh. the show. <laughs> I heard him, man. It's called karma. Was say twenty five hundred? Yeah. Told you. Yep. Jason Neller's is Chill McFresh. That's nice. Yeah. Ted Hawson, Nacho Libre. James Gottschall is Seymour Buns. All right, here we go. Didn't even get to uh, do trivia tonight. No, we're too busy. I had a good one, too. What is it? Do it now. I'm not, what am I going to do it now? Shit. <laughs> we'll save it. Save it Thursday. Save, we'll save it. We'll save it. Save it. We'll bank that. I had a couple deep cuts from music trivia that were uh that were that that were that were gonna, Let me flip my were gonna be good ones. Blue bada beat up thai bada beat on a thai Yep. It's a Topps Chrome Auto uh Shiwan Bay in a PSA ten. That's badass. Yep. Yeah, I haven't met your your clan. There's a red. We got a red, baby. We got a red. Let's Jason see what Miller's we got. got 40, 47 of the 25 uh, briefcases. <laughs> 1,500 points. Let's cast. That was K. Walls. Jason Cunneller. Eight was in there. Did I miss eight? Let's see it. Check it in just a second. All right, yeah, let me put eight in there. Yeah, that's what that's what I forgot. Let's do it. Let's see. What did you forget? Well, twelve was taken. So let me give you uh, 28 to make up for that 12 taken. I forget my own name sometimes. Yeah, uh, I, yeah. Michael Beck uh, Western, was. Uh, they played the first half very well of that game against Marquette. They were up by like six points at halftime or eight points at halftime and then absolutely just shit the bed in the second half, man. They couldn't get anything up there. And then... Uh, you know, Kentucky getting beat by Oakland. The guy who just kept putting up threes. I think he had like 10 threes or something like that. Good for him, you know, but um, I kind of expected that from Kentucky. Go. Jason Miller. Gold, baby. It's gold. Gold. UConn looks too good, man. Nick Their games Maddie haven't Ouch. been close. Duke's games haven't been close for that matter. I can't wait for the new Spinal Tap. There's going to be a new Spinal Tap? Really? How are they going to do that? I don't care, but it's Spinal Tap. Ted Halson. Blue. That's awesome. Their last album was called Break Like the Wind. <laughs> Jason Neller. That's funny. That's my old life, of course. Too much faith in you threw it away. There we go. Jason Neller. Blue. J. 
Jason Miller. Well, I'm sure you did. I can smell it all the way over here. We're all the way from Oklahoma. Yeah, man. All the way from Broken Bow. Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Broken Bow or Broken Arrow? I don't know. One of the two. It's Broken Arrow. Points. It is Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Is right, right, right. I'm almost 100 percent of that. Steve Allen uh, from Broken Arrow. That that's where uh, that's where uh, Gospel Bill was from. Gospel Bill. Broken Arrow. Uh, Willie George uh, was a uh, like Gospel Bill in in, in like all the, the charismatic churches, you know. Yeah. Let's see. Not broken boner. Ed. Broken boner. Yawanka. We miss something? Uh, I did. I'm, I'm putting it in. What'd you did? What'd you miss? What'd you miss? Something from earlier. All oh. right, guys. That's our time. We're going to kick out a little early because we're out of stuff to break. We didn't get shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting, well, we got the belt. We got we the didn't belt. get the belt. Got, the, got the belt the for belt. the night. Yep. We yep. got the belt. Yep. I'm Gilmore. We sold out of all of our product. I'm Francis. He's Gilmore. See you guys later 